I believe alien life is quite common in the universe, although intelligent life is less so. Some say it has yet to appear on planet Earth. Will humans destroy the planet? Short answer, no. If you're talking about the actual physical Earth and rock below us, then nothing short of the Death Star would come even close. But when people ask this question, they're typically not referring to the physical metal and rock that is Earth, but rather the animals and plants that live here. So we should probably change the question to, will humans destroy all life on the planet? Short answer, no. Even in the most apocalyptic of scenarios, there will almost always be pockets of life that survive. The Earth has endured a lot. It has experienced at least five major ice ages with at least some species of animal and plant adapting and surviving. Some species even thrived in these environments. Life is very resilient and won't be wiped out that easily. Even when the Earth was struck with a large comet or meteor 65 million years ago, despite an estimated 75% of species being destroyed, life marched on. Some of you might have seen the recent news about the so-called Doomsday Clock being moved even closer to midnight. It's now only 100 seconds away, the closest it has ever been in the hypothetical clock's 73-year history. Even during the most tense periods of the Cold War, the closest the clock ever came to midnight was two minutes. So why now are we even closer than that? What has changed in 2020? Well, first of all, what is the purpose of the Doomsday Clock? According to the clock's founders, the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists, although they do refer to the planet in their statements, the true purpose of the clock is to represent how close humanity is to obliterating itself. If we look at our overarching question, instead of, will humans destroy all life on the planet, we should probably change that to, will humans destroy all human life on the planet? And the short answer to that question is possibly. According to the Bulletin, there are two main threats to human life as we know it. Nuclear war and climate change. Although these are the two main physical threats, there is an equally ominous non-physical threat. Information, warfare and other disruptive technologies. Things like artificial intelligence, space, hypersonics and biology. AI is being used to create so-called deep fakes, where audio and video recordings are being created that are essentially undetectable as false. There's an impending arms race to develop and implement high-speed hypersonic weaponry. Biological and genetic engineering is becoming increasingly affordable. Governments around the world are collecting vast amounts of health-related data, which could be used to develop highly effective biological weaponry. However, we must remember that there are millions of species of animals and plants on this planet that have adapted themselves to live in a wide range of climates and conditions. How many species of animals live deep in the ocean? Unless all the water of all the oceans was somehow boiled off and sent into space, life will continue on Earth no matter what humans do. Harvard University astrophysicist Avi Loeb commented on the resilience of life. He said, I have an optimistic view about life. It may be able to survive all the mistakes we'll make in politics in the future. So will humans destroy the planet? No. Will humans destroy all life on the planet? No. But as we've seen by the recent moving of the hands of the Doomsday Clock, humans do have the capability to destroy themselves. One sentence accurately describes this situation. The only threat to humanity is humanity itself.